How's it going everyone and welcome to the first episode of how to program JavaScript. In this first lesson, you're going to learn what exactly JavaScript is and how it functions inside websites. Now, JavaScript alongside HTML and CSS is one of the three core technologies that make up content inside websites, meaning that it's expected that you already know HTML and CSS before you dive into this course. If you don't know HTML and CSS, then I do have a course that teaches these as well on my channel, and I will go ahead and link them in the description of this video if you're interested in seeing them. At the beginning here, the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that there are many other JavaScript related libraries, frameworks, and server side variations of JavaScript. And for people who are new at JavaScript, these can all be a bit confusing. JQ and React, for example, are very popular libraries that help make writing JavaScript easier and faster. We also have frameworks such as Angular and AngularJS, which are used to simplify building advanced web applications with JavaScript. And then we have platforms like Node.js, which allow JavaScript to run like a server-side programming language. And these are just to mention a few. Now, these are all huge areas by themselves, and we won't be covering them in this JavaScript course, but in the future, we'll have separate courses teaching these as well, if you're interested. So just to make it clear, in this course here, we will only focus on the core JavaScript language, okay? Now, there's one more thing I want to mention, which is something that some of you might think is silly for me to say, but because I've received multiple comments from people, I just want to clarify this. Java and JavaScript are not the same thing. The only thing that is similar between these two languages is that they both have Java in their names, okay? So don't get confused by these and mix them together. The next thing I want to explain is how content is actually displayed inside a website. Because in order to understand JavaScript and how it works, this is something that you need to know in order to become better at developing using JavaScript. Now, when a website is loaded into a browser, it is done so in three different layers. The first and bottom layer is what we call the content layer, and this layer consists of the website content and the HTML wrapped around it. The second layer is the presentation layer, which consists of CSS that is applied to the HTML in order to make the website prettier. And the third layer is what we call the interactive layer. This layer is what interacts with HTML and CSS to change what you can see and do inside a website. Now, the key difference between these layers is that the first two layers are loaded when the page loads, while the interactive layer continuously runs in the background of the website in real time, both when and after the page is loaded. This means that JavaScript can make changes to the website at any time without needing to refresh the browser. Now, within the next couple of lessons, you will learn which tools are needed to write JavaScript as well as how we can install extensions to these tools, which I just want to point out is not required, but makes the development process a lot easier as we get started coding JavaScript. So if you don't want to use extensions, then you're free to skip that video. So I hope this video gave you a basic understanding of what JavaScript is. If not, then don't worry about it. Within these lessons, I'll both show and help you understand what you can do using JavaScript. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you next time.